So Sister Giselle, subhanAllah, she called in to ask a question on behalf of her husband, who's a Muslim. She's a Catholic, married to him. Uh, and she they asked a question pertaining to Tarawih. And subhanAllah, um, not only that, her husband ordered this guy to pray mat. He knows how to pray now. He doesn't need this anymore. And I asked her a question. I said, um, would your husband will be able to teach you how to pray Salah if you accept Islam? And she was like, yes. Is that correct? Yes. Sister, are you ready to accept Islam? Yes, but before before I do that, I just want to make to make it clear that I will join Islam not because I want to be rewarded, not because I want my sins to be um, uh, wiped away. I am joining it because I. Just imagine the people back in the day when they would have to travel certain distances for months or even years. What is one thing that they would carry with them? The Quran. Why? Because they did not have it on their mobile devices or their gadgets. Brothers and sisters, imagine you have a app, the Qurani app, which not only shows you how much rewards you get, but reminds you to read the Quran, gives you reminders. Download the Qurani app now and let it testify for you on your Maqiyama that you read it wherever you was. Let's go to the next caller, please. Okay, yeah, we have Candy. Assalamu alaikum, Candy. Hi. Um, Hello, where are you calling from? I, well, thank you for actually calling me Candy, but my real name is Giselle. Um, and I am calling from Winnipeg, Manitoba. Where from? Winnipeg, Manitoba. What is that? Where is that? Canada. Canada. Oh, wow. Okay, mashallah. How's, how's the weather there? I don't know. By the way, Dawood, you are multi-skills, Dawood. Um, you keep amazing me with the information from Yes, me. yes, sister. What's your question? Like random things. He will know uh, things. I don't know. Guys. Okay. So yes, I, yes, sister. My husband is a revert. And right yes. now, he has um, caffeine withdrawal. So I called to ask questions on his behalf. What, okay. what, what, what does he have? Caffeine withdrawal. Because oh, caffeine he, withdrawal, okay. Yes. Um, but okay, he is and and what's, that? what's that? Caffeine it's, withdrawal, he's not uh, stopping caffeine. Yeah, okay. Okay. Because um, of Ramadan. Mashallah, okay, yeah. Okay. Um, how's, he, how's he feeling? Is he okay? Uh, yes, he's, he's managing. He's not grumpy. That's good, alhamdulillah. Okay, yes. alhamdulillah. So what's, what's his question? He wants to ask if he can have coffee? No, I know that he can't. Even if he tells me, I'm going to say nope. Um, <laughs> so my... <laughs> it seems that he is... It seems that you are, you know, you are, you are controlling, alhamdulillah. <laughs> this, at least this side, which is good. That's not bad. Um, yes, okay. <laughs> um, all right. So my first question, or his question, question is um, it has um, about tarawih yep. and if a person has trouble praying um, tarawih standing up um, and I know that he um, there's an option for to sit down while doing it um, how does one pray tarawih sitting down so when he pray tarawih, he has to sit down on the floor. Like this is that you need to know firstly that the mandatory prayer, the Isha prayer, he has to pray them. He has to pray it standing up, unless if he has some serious problems, then he can sit down. Otherwise, he has to pray standing. This for Isha, yeah, the mandatory prayer. The tarawih is a voluntary prayer. If he prayed standing, he will have the full reward. If he prayed sitting, will have half reward. So that's why it's okay for someone to sit down, but he has to be on the floor, not on a chair. Many people, they think the chair is the option. You go to the chair option, unless you have problems in your knees, you cannot sit on the floor, then you go to the chair option. Otherwise, you sit down on the floor, you just be normal sitting down. So when the imam is bowing for ruku, you bow a bit like this, and then when you go to sujood, you go full sujood on the floor. Then it is permissible for the person to do that for the tarawih and the voluntary prayer. So the voluntary prayer, the person is entitled to pray, the, to pray it standing or sitting down. And standing is better. But the mandatory prayer that has to be prayed standing, unless if the person has uh, an illness that prevents him from standing, then he can sit down. 
Is that clear? I hope that answers your question, yeah. Sister Mayara. How long sure. have you been a Muslim, Sister? How long have you been a Muslim? Oh, I'm I'm actually not a Muslim, um, but my husband is a revert. And why don't you become a Muslim? Oh, um, that's a heavy question. Um, <laughs> Uh, a heavy question, but there can be a light answer, like taking the shahada. Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, I'm I'm a Catholic. Um, mm -hmm. I am a spiritual Catholic. Uh, I have stopped believing in the human side of it. Sorry, other Catholic listeners. Um, yeah. I. Oh wait, my heart is. Um, I'm nervous. Uh, it's fine. It's fine, sister. I, uh, look, I feel sister. guilty. Yes, yeah, carry on. Yeah, carry on. I feel guilty of switching um, because, well, Catholics. I think we were born to feel guilty, <laughs> but um, I'm just worried that if I choose or if I become a revert, that I'm not really sure that um, I will be punished because I'm, no, no. I'm saying no. It's like I'm I'm turning my back away from from. Let, let, let me tell you something, sister. Yeah, you know the, the 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 for example the faith that you are in. For example, the Catholicism. Now think about it. What Jesus was Jesus a Catholic? For example. Uh, for example, did he believe in the cross? That's another thing. You, you see the point. So if he didn't know that how he's going to be killed, or suppose this, yeah, and if he, as well, he was asking and begging God not to be killed, all of these things, it tells you something. We believe in Jesus, peace be upon him, but as a prophet and messenger of God, he's not God. He cannot be God. And as well, when we say about God, God is all knowing all powerful has independent yes. will and none of these ones none of these conditions applies to jesus but it fits him to be a prophet and messenger of god and actually he said a profound word when the people of israel they came around him surrounding him saying to him uh, you know thinking about what he is and he said oh, oh, oh you people of israel our lord is one and he used the term ahad ahad which is in hebrew and that this term is exactly used by Moses, peace be upon him. It's exactly in the same the same word they mentioned in the Quran. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Say Allah is ahad, one and unique. There is no second. There is no third. He is the only one, and he is the only one worthy to be worshipped. That is Islam. And actually, by you believing in Islam and accepting Islam, you're not turning you back to Jesus. Actually, you are following the way of Jesus. He was saying he submit his will to the will of God. He said, I'm going to go to my father and your father, my God and your God. He has a God. He prayed to God. He prostrated to God. That's how Muslims. And actually, you are following the way and the methodology of Jesus, peace be upon him. You are, and you are earning as well, Muhammad, peace be upon him, the last and the final messenger. And he was sent by Allah to the people to guide the people to the, to the right path. So basically, when you are accepting this, you're not turning your back actually to Jesus. Rather than you are following the path of Jesus, peace be upon him, and you follow the path of all the prophets and messengers. Does that make sense to you, sister? Yes, it it does. Um, I okay. also, I'm a Filipino, and in my family, um, uh, Catholicism, and my my family yeah. believes yeah. strongly in it, and I am, I feel. Um, has it, well, I, I feel afraid of the repercussions of of me. Um, I understand, sister. So what's what my suggestion is, if you become Muslim yourself, keep this between you and your husband until when the time comes when you feel confident to mention this to, to your family, that's fine. But at least that do do the right thing, do the right decision at this moment. <coughs> yeah. because, because at the end of the day, the life is short. You don't have to go to tell them. Just do the right thing, do the right decision. And inside you, you believe in God. Inside you, you, it makes sense to you that Jesus is a prophet and sent by God. It makes sense to you that Muhammad is the last and the final messenger. That's why your husband embraced Islam. And he's going to be the most happy person that when his wife, when you and him, both of you became Muslim, when both of you are praying together, fasting together, doing the righteous thing, 
And by the way, the background of the Filipinos, if you go to the history, they were Muslims until the Portuguese came there and the Spain came, Spain, Spanish came there, literally forced the people to change their faith from Islam because Filipino was like Malawi as well. They have kind of links with the, with Malaysian and Indonesian and these areas. And then they forced them to change their faith. That's why they became Catholic. Otherwise, in the past, they were Muslims in the past. And if you go in the history, you might find one of your ancestors was a Muslim. Alhamdulillah, so, yes. So and the point is, sister, we are, when you are accepting Islam, you are not taking you back to Jesus. The way you follow Islam. Does that make sense to you, sister? Yes, um, I just want to say thank you for uh, talking to oh. me about it, although it wasn't my um, uh, my reason yeah, that's for fine. calling, that's, um, watching you. And that's fine, sister. Yes. We're here in the whole of Ramadan. You can call whenever you like. If you change your mind, if you want to take your shahada, just know in Catholicism, you know, you have to go to the priest to ask for forgiveness. We believe in Islam. Like The reason why we're here is because to pray salah, that's what makes Islam so different. Because we single out God in worship. When we worship God and pray, we don't go to Muhammad, Moses, Jesus, peace be upon them all. We go to God directly. That's what makes and Islam we don't unique. Go to the imams. We don't go to the imams to ask them for to, to forgive us and give them a 50 pound note behind the thing so he can forgive us faster, like Amazon Prime. So the thing is here, yeah, we go to God Almighty directly. Yeah. We pray okay. to him. And you know, if you accept Islam, my dear sister, if you do, we will teach you how to pray salah. We have our sister's team. We will teach you how to pray Salah step by step. You can go to our website, salahplus.com, and you can order. If you want Ali, sister... I know can... it already because my husband has it and he actually told me uh, a couple of days ago, they said, I can got, pray. Has he got one of this? Oh, has he yes. got one of this? Yes, and he can pray without um, reading the prayers now. See, you know, Subhanallah, and... this, is, this, is, this is profound. This is profound. Look at this. This is a sister who's a Catholic, her husband is a Muslim, a who's revert. a revert, yeah. who ordered the guided prayer mat and now can yeah. pray without using it. Yeah. That means now he has he has learned it. Sister, you get, guess what? If you accept Islam, that means your husband can teach you how to pray. Is that correct? Yes, I know about that because he tells, he's been telling me a lot about Islam and he also reads um, the English translation of Quran yeah, yeah. Wow. Look at that. Wallahi, this is what we say to the people. Yeah, wallahi. Imagine her reverts uh, husband who's having a caffeine withdrawal now, he's relaxing. Yeah, he, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's having a caffeine withdrawal. Yeah, but <laughs> and, and he's got he's, he's got an amazing wife like this lady who's there trying to help him. Yeah, maybe give, to, listen, make him help him about Islam, trying listen. to help him about Islam. By about, the way, uh, this is this, She's asking just think, just think about it. Sorry, sister, we broke up. This. Sorry, yeah. So, I was saying, what's your name? Um, my name is Giselle, uh, or you can call me Jill. Okay, so Sister Giselle, subhanAllah, she called in to ask a question on behalf of her husband, who's a Muslim. She's a Catholic, married to him. Uh, and she they asked a question pertaining to Tarawi. And subhanAllah, um, not only that, her husband ordered this guided prayer mat. He knows how to pray now. He doesn't need this anymore. And I asked her a question. I said, um, would your husband will be able to teach you how to pray Salah if you accept Islam. And she was like, yes. Is that correct? Yes. So, Panallah, my dear sister, do you, let me ask you a question. Do sure. you believe God is one? Do you believe he is one? Absolutely. Okay. Do you believe, do you believe uh, he has partners? Do you believe there is more than one God or there's just one God and he cannot be a human being? There's only one God for me. Good. So you don't believe God is a man, a statue, no. a tree, no. an idol? No? no? Thank you. So, my dear sister, do you believe in prophets? Do you believe in Jesus, Moses, Abraham as prophets? Yes. Do you believe the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as a prophet? Do you know anything yet still? Or Yes. Um, er, um, I, he has been telling me a lot about Muhammad. Um, so, yes, I, I believe Sister, you, you are a Muslim. You, you can't be a Catholic because you believe God is one. You don't believe God is a part, has a partners. He's not a human being. You believe the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is a final messenger. You are a Muslim. I mean, your husband, you, after he comes off his caffeine withdrawal, he can teach you how to pray salah. Not only that, sister, I believe you should take your shahada with us because you already believe it. You already believe God is one. 
I and I believe me, I came to Islam 12, 11 years ago. Yeah, this is my 11th Ramadan. And I always believe God is one. The moment I heard Christians believe God is a human being, it was done for me. I said, I cannot follow this religion because I do not believe God is a man. So my dear sister, why don't you take your shahada with us? It's up to you. We don't want to force mm -hmm. you. I'm very careful with this stuff. I don't like forcing, but it's because <laughs> it's Ramadan. It's Ramadan, sister. We can get you some dates. I'm sure you have dates. You don't need dates, yeah? But alhamdulillah, you yeah. can fast, learn how to pray salah, and our sister's team will be in contact with you if it's yes. totally up to you. But why don't you take your shahada, sister? Because you already believe. That well, it would sister. definitely um, be a fun one, um, fasting with Aaron. Um, Inshallah, it will be. And not only yeah. that, you can pray with him, sister. Yeah. And our sister's team at Salah Plus will help teach you how to pray Salah. You might not need it. Your husband is there. Yeah. He just needs yeah. some caffeine and he's, he's good to go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> you know what? I'll even send some coffee. Yeah. Inshallah. Uh, he can uh, yeah, help him. Yeah, <laughs> some some British some coffee. <laughs> Why don't you, if you're ready, you can repeat after us. You can repeat after Sheikh Mohammed yes. and you can take a shot. Are you ready to accept Islam with us? And Inshallah, you can even do a marriage ceremony for you and your uh, husband, Inshallah. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, already, okay, yeah. yeah. No, yes, I, I just want to say I I feel very um um sorry, Aaron. I told you I'm not going to uh be too emotional, but uh I just want to say that um I feel honored. Yeah, alhamdulillah that you are honored. That's why we are honored. We are, we are honored. honored, actually. So, so my point, sister, to you, you, you will be, you will be in Islam. You start high, all your previous sins will be wiped. You will be like a newborn baby, with no sins. And I will give you something glad tidings for you. Our Prophet, peace be upon him, he said that those ones who accept Isa or Musa, peace be upon both of them, and he accept the Prophet sallallahu Allah will reward them twice, which means. That as soon as you're accepting Islam, Allah will reward you twice. And Allah will replace all those things that you used to do. Allah will replace them in reward in Islam. So you start tying. She read it. Sister, are you ready to accept Islam? Yes, but before before I do that, I just want to make to make it clear that I will join Islam not because I want to be rewarded, not because I want my sins to be... Um, uh, wiped away I am joining it because I want to because I choose to join and because I believe in this is the amazing Allah. thing Allahu Akbar. <laughs> actually you are you are you are amazing mashallah so sister repeat after me one second let's get let's get the wide camera let's yeah. get the whole team here yeah okay. we, we want to witness this so sister, we, want, no, we want to witness this no we want to witness this let's, let's get the chat so sister repeat after me yeah wide camera, we'll wide say camera. it we'll say the shahada We'll say the shahada in English, then we'll say it in Arabic. All right, sister? Okay. Right camera. So, I testify. I testify. That there is. That there is. No one. No one. Worthy to be worshipped. Worthy to be worshipped. Except Allah. Except Allah. And I testify. And I testify. That Muhammad, that Muhammad, is the messenger, is the messenger of Allah, of Allah. Let's say it in Arabic, yeah. And I will do my best to to say it too. I will I will do it slowly for you. Ashhadu, Ashhadu, Allah, Allah, Ilaha, Ilaha, Illa, Illa. Allah, Allah, wa, wa, ashhadu, ashhadu, anna, anna, Muhammadan, Muhammadan, Rasulu, Rasulu, Allah, Allah. Takbir. We are happy. We are honored having an amazing sister like yourself. And I will tell you Aww. something, you know, you know, sister, I will tell you something. What amazes me that Allah Azza wa Jal in Ramadan, there is every single night of Ramadan, Allah, Allah the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah will free people from the punishment of the hellfire and grant them Jannah. And actually, this is the first night of Ramadan or the second night of Ramadan. 
and uh, which is the first day after fasting. And Allah has honored us firstly, having you as a sister for us. And because look how much you are good to your, to your husband, how much you are good to him. You wanted to help him to implement his faith properly. That's why Allah looked into your heart and found you a genuine person that found that you are wanted to help. Not just only you is about, about yourself, it's about as well your husband. Look how beauty it is. That's why sister, Allah Azzawajal has honored you and us by you accepting Islam. May you Allah bless you, sister. Me cry. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I was about to cry. <laughs> because there is no, Allah is seriously, sister, to see an amazing someone like you who's keen to help her husband. I was amazed. These things is not yeah. happening. You yeah. don't find this. Yeah. You don't find someone who has a different faith. A wife has a different faith. And helping her husband because you believe in it. Inside you, you believe it is the truth. But Allah brought you. Eventually, Allah brought you. And I will add to your information. The, the companion women came to the Prophet, peace be upon him. And then they said to him, Oh, my son of Allah, we see the men, they do this, they do, they do different things. What's for us? He said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, if the women prayed her five daily prayer, fasted the month of Ramadan, was good to her husband, Allah will say to her in the day of judgment, you enter paradise and choose any gate that you want to turn to paradise Allah. And you're already there. So that's why now, alhamdulillah, start learning how to pray. Start fasting the month of Ramadan, joining your husband. Yes. And inshallah ta'ala, we, we are very privileged having you. Yeah, I mean, yes. What's, Aaron, what's your husband's name? Is it Erin? Yes, he's the, um, uh, what did you call him? Um, the... No. no, one second. Is, it, is your is your is your um yes. one second? Is, yes. Oh, is this one, one second? One second. <laughs> is this is this Erin? One second. We just realized. Is this Erin the, the one you've been teaching how to pray salah? Uh, yes, he's Erin. Oh my gosh! Name. One second. <laughs> is this is it that? But one second. So this is guys. This is profound. This is Erin. The word is the word is his instructor. The word has been teaching him how to pray salah. So this is his wife. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so Dawood <laughs> is, is it the Viking brother? Yeah. So this brother, so guys, just, just imagine this, yeah. So this is literally happening real in front of you. So we talk about salah instructors, and people don't really understand. Dawood, Sheikh Mohammed, and the others, there's instructors, yeah. We didn't even know this, yeah. Dawood has been teaching a brother and he talks so highly of him. Erin, this, Erin, that, Erin. We're like, okay, Dawood, we understand. And he's just now he's a beautiful brother, he's like this, you know. And subhanallah, where do, we don't even know because we can't see his face. Ali, it's his I wife just, who's accepting I just Islam. Want to say that Aaron also talks about Dawood, uh, that he's a beautiful brother all the time. That I feel like <laughs> I'm talking to Dawood. Mashallah, mashallah, sister, mashallah. Wow, Allah bless you. We was going to say, Aaron, you've got an amazing wife. You've got an amazing friend who is also my friend. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. brother. So, Aaron, look after your wife. Inshallah, she's amazing. May Allah bless you, sister. We're going to get in contact with you, our inshallah. sister's team, inshallah, to help teach you how to pray salah, sister, inshallah. And we will send you one of these guided prayer mass as well. Or you can borrow the, the your hus husband's. Or yes, borrow your husband's. Yes. No, pass I it. want my own, please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to send you your own guided prayer mat. And not only that, we're going to get our sister's team, sister Huda, inshallah, to contact you and teach you how to pray, inshallah. Unless you want your husband to get the reward. No, no, both. Both of them. Get Let the them. reward. It's fine. That sounds very, very good. I am um, you. My heart is uh, very, very swollen right now. And I just. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, if praying Sunnah Salah before Fajr is better than this world and everything in it, then what is the reward for the one who not only taught them how to pray Salah, but also the first chapter in the Quran? What if I told you that because of your donations, we will be teaching thousands of people around the world to learn how to pray Salah? Brothers and sisters, we only need a hundred people to give a hundred pounds. A hundred pounds can help teach 10 to 30 people learn how to pray Salah and memorize Surah Al Fatiha for the first time ever. Imagine you are the reason for people like Michael, like Katrina, like Trisha, like, like me, who learn how to pray for the first time time ever with us thanks to your donation the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said anyone that calls someone to good will get the same reward without anything being taken away from them click the link below and donate now